last time on Catch and Raise. We'd finally made the push to Prickly Bay, and to get there, sailed down the windward side of Grenada, then found this sweet spot to anchor, our home base for a few weeks while we explored the island. Beginning with the Seven Sisters Waterfall. But our sightseeing adventures were just beginning, and a tour with Mr. Cuddy was next on the list. Along with Dave and Tanya and the crew from Renegade, we spent the day exploring Grenada. Throughout the entire day, Mr. Cuddy continually provided information on everything from plants, government, and famous people, to notable landmarks and tons of history. All broadcast into his microphone and throughout the bus. Now, if you see this building in the center here now, it was the military headquarters, but now is the disaster management center. Now, oh, what does that smell? It smells. Is it jasmine? No, I don't know. Well, I don't know. know. Pass it back. <laughs> It'll make you sleepy. I know. It almost smell. smells like gardenia. It does smell like gardenias, but it's not. It's it's different. Smell that. <laughs> <laughs> I was wanting to. <laughs> you recognize this? Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> but we don't know how to process the rice in. Can we get some? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't process rice in. We only make the oil. You know? <laughs> I watch Breaking Bad, though. Yeah. All right, so. <laughs> and along the way to the Concord Falls was an interesting above ground cemetery and some really cool faces carved into the wall. This is a cocoa pod, with cocoa beans on the inside that you can sample right out of the pod. This is what the Concord Falls looked like when my crew visited. But then came the nutmeg plant, where I had mixed emotions. While it was interesting to see where a lot of the world gets its nutmeg supply, it was awkward and a little sad to see how hard they worked as a bunch of tourists snapped photos. the parish, the town is Victoria. But we have a guy from Victoria, a very interesting guy. His name is Johnson B. Harry. He fought in the war in Iraq and he was badly injured in the head. Then it was on to the Grenada Chocolate Factory, the site of the old sugarcane plant, where they grow their own cocoa plants to use in their organic dark chocolate. <laughs> we ended up buying a two and a half pound bar of 75% and it's some of the best dark chocolate you'll ever taste. Mmm. 
good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Did you get one? Are you gonna take that it's sweeter than what we had. Oh, that is really good. Oh. Mm. Don't bite it. It's sweeter though. Oh. Perhaps you bite. What's inside? If you bite it, mm. but the last stop on the tour is the Rivers Rum Distillery. where layers and layers of sugar cane make it a little hard to walk on crutches. Now this is our meal, our question machine. I don't know that if there is sufficient power to crush. But that's the way you think it will be good. All we are doing is extracting the juice from the cake. Now what, what is not properly crushed will be sent back. The juice extracted will be coming out on this side. There's a trail uh, coming from there. But there isn't any at the moment. Yeah, at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we come down here and go down. Yeah, and it goes down to the next stage. The waste, once it comes out, is called ballast. All this is a whole set of ballast. It will be used as a fuel on this side. Once it starts to gain, it goes back into the field as a mulch or fertilizer. So nothing is being wasted down here. Everything has its use. That goes in your rum. <laughs> The problem is you gotta get so freaking close with these things, otherwise it's too far away. You know how much balance you get. Chicken off of a bone. No. Yeah, but she ate a roach. <laughs> Makes me puke. I didn't eat a roach. What did you eat? I ate termites. I ate termites. Yummy. Here, babe. Like, it was like when we found you did his finger in. From downstairs in the morning house, the juice will be pumped up here. Oh, Jesus. 
That does not look good. I'm going to put you in <laughs> <laughs> I really liked it before. I know it makes you not want rum, huh? That looks like something vile. So glad I took this food. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, sorry, bro. I had my camera off when I walked through there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the so you've been right, bro. It's your turn to sample the product. It's once in a lifetime. <laughs> we'll be getting this. So go right turn. It's warm. Warm right here. There is. There is once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime. There is. I don't think he'll sell you the seventy-five. So are these three the same? No, not those two the same. No. No. This is seventy-five. 69. So that's 16 plus. That's what? Alright, mom, pictures. <laughs> it's water. It's water. It's coming. Is that really just, just rum? Remember the last time, Annalise. Don't sip it. Now you gotta drink it. The whole thing. No, you better sip it. Your hair will be on fire. I I don't care for that in this <laughs> place. <laughs> Makes me want to puke. Just Here, you want some? It. No. What is yours? Give it to her. <laughs> I just want to taste. So I'm going to give you a little bit. No, I want to taste. Do you want me to video you? No, that's the one I just had. That wasn't a good enough base. There should be like eight here. It's horrible. With that, the tour came to an end. We just needed to make our way back to Prickly Bay, and along the way drove through this abandoned airfield. This would be a good place to do drag racing. Yeah, it would. Catholic Mimola plane was the Prime Minister's plane, and the bigger one, Ekiwana. Ekiwana was a commercial plane. Ekiwana came here on the 24th to leave the next day, the 25th. But the 25th was the intervention, so they never left. 25th was what? Intervention. I'll, I'll send the metal down to you. I can take off this big well, foam cowboy hat any time I want. And you don't cry for I don't need an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cuddy dropped us off and we were back on the boat, but just for a bit, because we all wanted to go to Dragon Bay to see the underwater statues. So we set sail around the southwest corner, avoiding any overhead hazards along the way. picked up a mooring for 10 US dollars and snorkeled around the corner to the bay. Even Tammy was able to enjoy the snorkel if only able to wear one fin. This is the first circle of children.
And this is the second circle of children. Next time on Catch and Rays. After seven months, we make it to Trinidad and pull her out of the water in the amazing Peaks Boatyard. And then finally head home for a few months. But that will have to wait until next time.